Now we are talking about how to create a routine and how to upload videos, all right? So I've already gone through dashboard plans, exercises, groups, all that good stuff. Now, if you go to exercises, this is the easiest it's gonna get in the history of time. So I know some of you have already uploaded videos, so I've saved this demo so you could see it. Right here, click import from YouTube. Okay, once you click import from YouTube, it's already linked to our YouTube account. So now all you have to do, click on that, let it load. There should be about 50 videos that are gonna pop up. You gotta buy a little bit of time. There we go. Okay, so now, here are all the videos. There's a bunch of them, there's three pages worth. Click this button for all of them, there's 50. Now, also notice how you say something means a lot. Kai's already reiterated, this is our global network now. This is our way to reach people in Australia, in China, in Russia, in England, you know, in the smallest island in Hawaii, whoever, right? So how everything looks is important. So capitalize your words, okay? You can edit that now. So like if you see something, you realize it's wrong, you can go through and edit it, right? Bang, it's good. All right, now also, what's nice is whenever you can choose measurements. So when you do choose measurements, skip creating exercise if a checked video has already been added, okay? So that means there's not gonna be any doubles, That's which is fantastic. But if you name or label something completely different, right? So me and Sam already talked about this, a sagittal lunge, a forward lunge and then a lunge are all the same depending on who you talk to. That's three different lunges all doing the same thing, right? So we don't wanna have any of that so the nomenclature has to be the same across the board. And also, just like Kai talked about whenever you're creating plans, you wanna make sure that you are searching for the word, right? So you wanna search lunge, you wanna search you know, barbell, right? And then that will give you all those options. Now, as far as default measures, you can always count for reps pretty consistently. It's a lot easier to add than it is to take away, right? So I recently have been doing reps. If you wanna go through and add all of them, you're just gonna to have to edit it later, right? And most of the time, they're not gonna have all four. So I'll keep reps, import. Your exercises are being imported. You'll be notified when they're finished. So now it's doing it on its own and then uh, the admins will get a message whenever they're set, right? So we already saw sandbag. So sandbag, let's see if it'll pop up. Boom. Sandbag lateral raises, sandbag overhead presses, right? And those are all the ones that we just uploaded right here. Bang, 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 bang. Right, sandbag grain toss, sandbag camera movement, chest pass. Beautiful. Right? So now, as far as going into plans and creating routines, now you've had the ability to go through and make sure that you know how to upload videos. So say Connor right here is the one I used yesterday to help with him. So creating a plan, I'm gonna go build workout. So if I wanna build a workout, I'm gonna add, add multiple exercises. We just added all these sandbags. So sandbag, search. I'm gonna go sandbag lateral race, sandbag overhead, sandbag high pull, um, sandbag reverse flies, and then sandbag forearm squeezes, right? So add those exercises to the workout. Now I've got this big old complex right here of all sandbag exercises, okay? So enable block programming, that way I can name it sandbag complex, if it lets me. Sandbag complex here. And then always go and change. So if I want them, think of something consistently. This is where all the GST sheets come in. So. If I always do three reps of 10, or three sets of 10, three sets of 10, you know, find something that's consistent and that you stay consistent with, you know? What's the most common thing you're gonna do? Because once you save the routine, you can go and edit it later anyway, right? So now I got all that here. If you come over here to the side, new routine from workout, right? Enter the name for your save routine, sandbag, complex save routine boom right so now I got sandbag complex here so see all sandbag complex here click this button there's my routines that Kai talked about 
there's that sandbag complex added in. See, three sets, 10 reps. So any of our GST sheets, right? You can have a superhero chest level one, superhero chest level two. And all you have to do is just add it in there, add it in there, add it in there, right? Think of all the stuff that we do often, right? Our bench program, add it in there. Our bench program week one, bench program week two, hex bar program, squat program, dumbbell bench program, all these things, it's just gonna make it super easy. And the more stuff we put in there and the more consistent we are with adding routines and making sure they're quality routines, the easier this is gonna be on everybody. All right, if y'all have any other questions, don't be afraid to ask me. I'll make sure to add another tranual to it.